Go. He wanted to go out. He said to me, you stay home. I said, I wanted to go out. He said, you have a baby. I said, it's our baby. I laid the baby down because he was probably feeling the tension for my baby. He was whimpering. I looked up and he slapped me. My husband. Not a blast that knocked your eyes blue. That came later. It was a smack. A hard domestic smack. He looked at me. He was smiling. I couldn't believe it. He was smiling. He slapped me again. His dad was vicious to his mother. I saw him smile. What was that? He was the nicest person. He had long black hair. Combing his long black hair when we made love and got loose. Before. He took me to dinner. He made me go out with the boss. I didn't want to go. He kicked me under the table. Told me to look happy. Told me to smile. I smiled. He kicked me again. Asked me who I was trying to fuck. Asked me to stop coming on to everyone. I stopped smiling. This went on and on. Outside the restaurant, he grabbed my hair and pulled me down to the curb. It had been snowing. He buried me in the snow. He pounded me in the gutter. The snow was melting. It was fluffy and mud. My hair felt like it was bleeding. I ran. He was drinking. I was too. I must have blacked out. I woke up in the hospital last five brain surgery. My hair was gone. They shaved it off. I had to relearn to talk and move my arms. It took me four months to remember how to cook breakfast. I remember putting the egg in the frying pan with the bacon. I knew the egg felt right. I just didn't remember to crack it open. Just the egg in the frying pan in its shell. My head was full. After 18 years, he beat me in the morning. When he was so nice again, I would braid his long hair. I would take my time like I cared so much. And I would braid it perfectly. Crooked! <laughs> I would make the hair so they would stand up all crazy-like. Then he'd go skating, but the bruises on my face were his handprints. He'd walk all cocky in the street, all macho in the road. His brain would be so crooked, and it would look so wrong and stupid. <laughs> this shouldn't have made me that happy. <laughs> Heard that he was out with a woman making love and she was fluffing his hair while he was wild on top of her. He came home much later and his hair was braided up all right tight. He passed out from drinking. Then I got up with scissors as he snored. And slowly walked to him and just cut the braid off. Completely off. And put it in his hand. So that when he woke up, he screamed, What the fuck? I'm going to kill you. But he, then he jumped up. <laughs> but I tied his shoes together so he couldn't run. I didn't go back to him for three years until after I knew his hair had grown out again. I didn't want to have sex with him. He was drunk. I was just a piece of meat to him, a big hole. I tried to pretend I was asleep. He elbowed me, jerked me, pulled me up. I remember thinking, just get it over with. He was soft and kept pumping and pumping until I got sore. I said it didn't feel good. He said, who are you with? Was he bigger than me? Did you like it? 
You're like a mouse with a lion. You have to move fast to the door. He picked me up like I was a rag. His eyes were numb. I could hear my son screaming. His mouth was open and his tonsils. I could see his tonsils. My husband beat the shit out of me. He wrapped my long black hair around his hand, jerked my head. I tried to get my son. That's not your son, he said, holding my hair in his hand. That's not your son anymore. Now he calls me in the middle of night, weeping. He didn't mean to beat his wife. He didn't mean to batter her. He's suicidal. He knows what his mother went through. But he can't stop my son. They took our land. They took our ways. They took our men. We want them back.